It's less than two months until the contract between the Medford School Board and the Medford Education Association, or MEA, expires. The two are coming together to negotiate the terms on a new contract. Just two years ago, a dramatic 16-day teacher strike in Medford turned the school year upside down. NBC 5's Cassie Nelson is live at the Medford Education Association offices with more tonight. Cassie? The Medford School Board and MEA bargaining teams exchanged their initial proposals two weeks ago for the contract that ends on June 30th. But these negotiations seem to have a different tone than the ones we saw two years ago. On February 6th of 2014, Medford teachers walked out of their classrooms. For more than two weeks, they were on strike. But now the two-year contract they later reached is coming to a close in June, so the two sides are beginning discussions again. According to a letter posted on the district's website, the school board's initial offer is a three-year contract, which includes cost of living increases, step increases, and increases in the district's contribution to PERS. While they say the proposal also includes increases in medical contributions by the district and staff, cuts will be needed. The letter says PERS increases have removed the district's spending cushion, and they're being forced to cut seven secondary teaching positions and restructure the Medford after-school program to balance the budget. The president of Medford Education Association says they've offered a one-year contract and says it's important that they receive a 3.8% cost of living allowance. The meeting, which began here at 4.30 at Medford Education Association office, is open to the public. They have 120 school days to reach an agreement. Live in Medford, Cassie Nelson, NBC5 News.